All right, cycle 23. This video might never see the light of day. I scanned this drawing for my sketchbooks and I like the design, I like the motion on it, and I was considering what to do. Is it a walk? Is it a dance in place? And then I got it in my head that, oh no, the dinosaur should be spinning around in a cycle. Yeah, that's it. And I can't get that thought out of my head, and it might not be a good idea. There are so many things that can go wrong here. If I was planning this out properly with animation, I would be thinking, okay, well, I'll do roughs. It's going to be 12 drawing cycle, so I'll do roughs on drawing 1, 4, 7, and 10. Drawing 13 is going to match drawing 1, so every three drawings there's going to be a foot hitting the ground on 1 and on 4. One of the, well, however it is, I mean, I might have it like 2, 5, 8, 11, whatever. Every three drawings, one of the feet is going to hit the ground. And each foot's going to have to be 90 degrees turned from the previous one to keep the dinosaur going in a circle. I, I just don't know. And then this initial design isn't, wasn't done. This initial drawing wasn't done with that in mind about turning in a circle. I really don't know if this is going to work. This might just be a disaster where I go down this path for an hour and just realize, no, he's dancing instead, he's walking instead, and just throw this out. But in the chance that this does get done, I'm, I'm going to give myself two and a half hours on this one. I'm not going to go for that uh, strict two hours, and then if I go over, I, I go over and I track that. It's just, no, I'm going for two and a half. Each drawing is not going to take ten minutes. It's going to be an extra couple minutes per drawing. And I, I'm going to have to initially uh, <laughs> simplify this design anyway. But yeah, th if this works, if this works, that I can get this dinosaur going in a believable cycle where it's 12 drawings and every, uh, every drawing he's turning like 30 degrees or whatever it would be, 33 times 12, yeah, 360, 30 degrees. Uh, and it, it, it works and it doesn't look too glitchy and I can get the angles done with going to clean since I'm not doing any roughs. The head perspective, the body perspective, the feet rotation, the feet planting. If I can get all that working anywhere close to believable, then uh, I'll, I'll be happy. This is, uh, is, is going to be a bit of a stretch. I wouldn't have even tried this a couple months ago, but... I've got this uh, newly earned courage from the last 22 cycles I've done, so we'll see if that uh, <laughs> courage is honestly earned or not. And uh, yeah, we'll find out in two and a half hours how far I get. All right, here we go. Okay, two hours, 15. That's uh, about as much as my brain's gonna let me do right now. This turned out so much differently than I thought, as it sometimes does. So I was thinking I was gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four feet planting and moving. And about three or four drawings in, I realized that wasn't gonna work at all. Because even if I plant the foot once, I have to lift it again to get it into the second position. So I'd have to have a foot planting two times every three frames, every three drawings, not just once every three drawings. And that was just going to get so messy. Plant lift, plant lift, plant lift, plant lift. So around drawing five, I realized, okay, I've got three feet. They're all dragging in the air. There's one foot on the ground. So far, I've been rotating it. What if I rotate that foot the entire time, the entire 12 frames, the entire 12 drawings? Could I just have, and it was the back foot, which wouldn't be the most intuitive one, could I just have the character rotating on one foot the entire time? Well, that's what I did. I, 
I'm curious to see how it's going to look. That was one challenge. Another challenge was the head. Uh, I really had it hidden behind the body for a long time. So it kind of goes, foo, and then comes around, and then it goes, foo, foo, and then it's going to go, foo, really quick. It might be way too quick. I might have to smooth that out. And then the third challenge was those, uh, the, the stomach lines, I think, worked out fine. The tail spikes. Uh, I, <laughs> just at the end there, I just started doing the tail spikes in a way that animated smoothly. I don't think it makes a lick of sense as to the, uh, the shape and the structure of the dinosaur, but it should animate smoothly, so... <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Oh yeah, see? I'm looking at those back spikes. It totally animates smoothly. It totally doesn't make any sense. But it animates nicely. Oh, the head coming around doesn't isn't as poppy as I'd uh, as I'd been concerned about. That's great. The foot planted on the ground is working pretty well. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, oh, that turned out pretty nicely. The head going around the corner. I'm glad I spent those extra frames with the head slowly turning, turning, turning away from us because that really helped sell the head going around. And then the zip on the other side. It's, it's just profile, front, three-quarter, it works, but going into back three-quarters, slower, 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 that really, yeah, I'm really glad how that sold it with the ear silhouettes there, that seems to work pretty well. Yeah, the stomach lines uh, going, uh, just kind of getting eaten up on the one side as they're coming around, and then they, they pop onto the other side, but there's enough going on there that I'm not feeling like it's an unwelcome pop. So I've really only got one foot that's planting and pushing off. All the other feet are just dragging and spinning. So the one foot goes plant, push, plant, push, plant, push. Well, okay, and let me uh, <laughs> clarify that. The, flant, the, the foot that's planting and pushing off, that's only because it started off in the air. So yeah, there are the other two feet that start off on frame on the first drawing. They are both planting and pushing off at the same time as well. And they're not making a ton of sense structure-wise when it comes to whether they're elbows or knees, but I'm feeling like I'm reading the feet pretty well in silhouette all the way through. They come on pretty abruptly to, to hook up to my uh, first drawing in the cycle there, but I, I buy it. I, it's, it's, there's enough uh, smoothly going on there that it's working for me. Yeah, and that back with the spikes as the head comes around and the spikes kind of get eaten up visually, and then they uh, suddenly appear again in that uh, ring going from the top to the bottom. Ah, uh, yeah, that works. Okay, not at all. I was thinking it was going to be a much cleaner boop, 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 spinning around. This was not, <laughs> not what I anticipated, but yeah, very cool. Very, uh, that one foot spinning. Yeah, if I'd come up with that at the beginning, I would have thought, could I get away with that? But... Once I, once I was drawing four, five, six, I realized I had no choice with what I'd drawn there. Again, you know, drawing myself into a corner can lead to some pretty interesting solutions. All right, that's a good one to end on, uh, draw, uh, cycle 23. So I'm going to take some time, review these 23 cycles, maybe put them all together, start the, integrating them into my short film, and then I'll start on the second batch. I uh, appreciate everyone uh, checking it out. I uh, hope uh, this is uh, educational and interesting and entertaining. And uh, I, I hope it comes across too that I'm just having a ball doing this. This is a, this is, this is a great challenge. When, you, when you've been doing this for 30 years, it's not that there's any shortage of challenges. But the challenges are uh, often more technical and uh, come from, you know, just, just different requirements from the job. And straight up, just authentic creative challenges are not nearly as common. So that's all this is. There's no technological uh, barriers here. This is just what's in my head, get it out of my head, get it out of my head quickly, two hours, two hours, 15. Yeah, ah, oh, I could look at this all day. Okay, <laughs> thanks again. Um, Take care. Uh, go. I hope everybody's drawing. I hope uh, drawing is good for everybody. It's it's uh, it's just such a healthy thing to do. I think so. Uh, yep. <laughs> I, I hope hope I can uh, show share the joy of that. All right. <laughs> That's it for me. Bye.